All right, greetings and salutations to everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm your host once again, Dan Thornton. I want to join? Uh, thank you for joining me here on a midday kind of Lions talk live. Slower day for the Detroit Lions news wise. Nothing big or breaking, but uh, why well, I had a free moment of time here at work. I did a little bit of a deep dive and just seeing if there was any news or tidbits. Asked around to some of the local uh, Detroit media, seeing if anything came out, and then I came across what you see in the headline here. Uh, hey, Mel Kuyper Jr., I get we all know who he is. If you've been around the NFL for any kind of length of time, you know this guy. And I'm going to say this. You take him with a grain of salt. You take him anything he says for what it is, probably just pure entertainment value. But I did think his comments here were very interesting since earlier today in the morning show, I was chatting with a bunch of you guys and just saying, hey, um, where can the Lions go with the NFL draft? And much of us I seem to agree the Lions really can go in any direction possible when it comes to going left, right, up, down, or whatever for the draft. Mel Kuyper Jr., who's done this longer than I have, uh, he's got me beat by a couple years, not a ton, but a couple. I, he came out. He had a, a mock draft today. His latest mock draft had the Detroit Lions going with the wide receiver in the first round. He did not have them trading up or down, staying at 29. And I, I thought it was noteworthy that somebody we speculated – on the morning show is actually who he took South Carolina wide receiver, Xavier Leggett, you know, and we all probably know who he is. If you don't, he at the combine, the, the kid flew. I mean, he might as well had a rocket and wings. He was flying. He was a 4.35. Uh, I want to say it was don't hold me to that, but it sounds about right. Uh, yeah. He was absolutely just a blazer. And my thought is putting him out on the field with so many of these other weapons that the lions now have, could that really be somewhere the Detroit Lions look to go? I'll say this. You play on turf, and the majority of the Lions games, year in and year out, are always going to be on turf because you play at home. You know that's a turf field. Plus, you have um, other games within your division that are going to be on turf. So I get it. If you want to have speed demons out there, you want to pair this kid up with Jameson Williams, uh, St. Brown, and others, man, that would be something. The only one thing I would say is, as they do point out, if you get a chance, check out Mel Kuyper, ESPN's article on it. They do note that according to the combine records, he is 6'1", not 6'3", as South Carolina reported. So where lies the truth? Who knows? But what are your guys' thoughts on this? Real quick, before we get into everything with the video, if you haven't yet subscribed to Lions Talk Live, please consider doing so, making a push to get the 6,200 subs. We're about 50 subs away, give or take a few. Also, don't be afraid to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, but Xavier Liggett, I mean, man, the guy, the guy can go – you know, as far as his receiver skills, I've only done a little bit of analyzing on him. I, I do like his elbow and wrist structure when it goes to uh, cupping and, and cooping the ball, locking it in. He does a good job of catching with his hands, basically, I guess I could say, versus letting it come to his body. He's got some stuff I think he's going to have to do with his mechanics as far as involving his lower body with the hips, the, uh, the knees, and the waist to get in and out of cuts faster. But, man, getting a blazer out there and opposite of so many of our other weapons, uh, man, that's <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? All right, uh, Crumb, what up, though? What up to you, too? Uh, Trump's woo, the first woo of the show. Uh, Hatman, good afternoon, Dan. Good morning, or good afternoon to you, too, Hatman. Uh, Burger Time, Mel Kuyper is hardly correct. No, he is hardly correct, but I just thought, Burger, that it was it was noteworthy that he was predicting someone that a number of people in the morning chat were speculating on. Could we actually go that way? Uh, Moonscar. What uh, what's happening now? Nothing, just kind of a slow middle of the day news story. Mel Kuyper Jr. put something out there, and I thought, you know what? Like, let's at least talk about it. Pierce, uh, best player available or guard would be nice. I think, you know, I'm sticking to my guns. I think the first round is either going to be an end or a guard or interior offense lineman, I should say. Uh, I know nothing. Hey, man. All right. Uh, was it uh, Sergeant uh, Sarge? Oh, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Schultz. Uh, Schultz from uh, Hogan's Heroes. There we go. Uh, Scott, what's up, Dan? Team's looking good. You know, and that's one thing he does point out, Mel Kuyper, that is, give credit where credit's due. He does talk about the Lions, the job Brad Holmes has done. Here's a quote for it. Quote, how good is the Detroit Lions roster? Question mark. General Manager Brad Holmes has done a stellar job since he was hired in 2021, writes Kuyper. End quote. Requote. Uh, he'll fill the Lions' biggest offseason hole with a trade for under, uh, underrated cornerback Carlton Davis. He filled, excuse me, the Lions' biggest hole, which gives him some flexibility here. I'd like to see the Lions add another playmaker, a playmaker for quarterback Jared Goff, end quote. And, you know, I, I get his logic there. I know a lot of you guys have speculated about trading for a receiver, 
whatever it may be. I don't think Lions are going to make any trades at this point for a wide receiver, at least. But I could say, you know, Kuiper does have a point. A number of you in the morning show brought this exact same point up, so I figured it, it was worth a video. All right, nine drinks. Woo! 100%. Uh, Rob, LOL, uh, Mel Kuiper says a lot of things, but I agree this is a good possibility. You know, you want to make that offense just scary over the top good. This could be something to do it. And just imagine that speed out there. Man. All right. Uh, one funky. Uh, the Lions can do anything. So saying they could take a wide receiver means nothing more than saying we could take a defensive end. I concur with that. And yeah, like it would be fun here. It would be. It would be fun to see him. Uh, Michael, uh, I would take the kid. He is fast. Exclamation points. Woo! 100%. Grome. Uh, nice. We could definitely use him. I, I would agree. Hey, it'd be nice to have another weapon out there. Uh, Trump's anyone on this board know as much as Kuiper, uh, probably everybody. I agree with you, Trump's everyone on, on this probably knows as much, you know, we all probably could say Kuiper puts stuff out there because it's his job to create content, likes, clicks, shares, subscribes, whatever, you know, back in the day when he used to run his magazine, he had to get people to buy. So I get it. Take it with a grain of salt. Pierce, we need some big body receivers. Yeah, and if he's really 6'1 versus 6'3, not that there's a huge difference, but there is a difference. So do you go in a different direction if you go wide receiver? I uh, Brett uh, Mel Kuyper is goofy most of the time, but I love Leggett. He's a dog with wheels. Woo! 100% there. Yeah, he man, I could just imagine some of the out routes with, with both of those guys, him and Williams on, on the same side of the field or even on the opposite side of the field. Talk about putting stress on the secondary of a defense. All right, uh, JP, since they signed an OG, the Lions can do anything in the draft. They really can. Uh, Brent, how's he at blocking? That, I would have to watch some film to really be able to tell you anything. I'd, I'd be making stuff up if I told you something different. All right, uh, Rob, I really like Johnny uh, Wilson, too. I'll uh, take a peek at him, too. Uh, JP, it doesn't matter. The Lions window is closed anyways. <laughs> uh, shots are being fired here. Uh, Broski, Dan the man. Hey, what's up, Broski Bear? Uh, Chrome, our offense will be insane with another stud wide receiver. Yeah, and just, man, is that really the way they would go? I still think the Lions are going to focus on offense and defensive line in uh, picks one and two. We'll see if that shakes out. Uh, let's see, Chrome, wait a minute, our offense, yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, Hatman, uh, any word on the physical for the new guy? No, um, they should be. If it does start on traditional time at 2 p.m. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, he should be coming out, if not already, out of the physical my guess is we'll hear something about him signing the contract shortly, but I will be taking off uh, to show a house here fairly soon since it's a little bit of a drive. So I probably won't be able to jump on. I do know that the report is it was $6 million for one year. So you think about that. If you got him for $6 mil, Glasgow on a similar contract, I mean, basically 12 $13 million, and you saved, you know, what is it, uh, $5 million over re-signing Jonah Jackson, and you got two for the price of one while saving money. All right, uh, JP, according to Greeny, the Lions are not going to go anywhere now to, anyways. Uh, might as well move up to the normal draft pick and get a quarterback. Yeah, I wouldn't listen to Greenberg on that. All right, uh, Pierce, and uh, name, I think, in the third to watch, Zetz uh, Walker, UNC. All right, we'll go with that. Uh, Zetz Walker, we'll go with him. I'll check him out. Haters House, trade up to get Latua and watch our defense dominate. I know we've been talking about that a lot, and I think that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, him, I know I've also speculated on Nealon. He's also, I think, an option, but I don't know if we'll have to trade up to get him. Uh, yada, yada, badass. What do you got to know? Why do people keep saying Lions need to draft wide receiver when we drafted one uh, last drafted on, plus we get a couple of them on practice squad? That's just dumb. Uh, wasting a pick. Yeah, if you ask, I get it, man. It's just a report, or I'm telling you what Mel Kuyper said. I just thought it was noteworthy because he had a number of, of us in the morning show say like it was an option. And here you go. Uh, Mel Kuyper named him just hours later. Uh, Trump's I would rather see us draft a stud running back over a receiver. Yeah. And that's, uh, I'm not sure if we'll take one in the first round, but man, who knows? All right. Uh, JP LOL. Well, I was uh, mocking Greeny. Yeah, I, I got that, man. I, I knew where you were going with that, man. Uh, Brent, I would still rather grab a name changing edge to help Hutch. I think that's more than likely where we'll go, assuming there is one or two available uh, to us, whether it's slightly trade up or just at 29. All right, Pierce, the dude we need is Jackson Powers Johnson. I know there's a lot of people pushing for the, uh, him, Pierce, and you know what? If we can get him, I, I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed. 
Uh, Big Daz, what do you got? Uh, let's just get the best player available. I con con concur with that. Ha uh, Hatman, still don't think we take a receiver until the third or later. That could ha happen, man. Uh, one funky haters. Latua has been my guy for a while now. I love it. Yeah, I think he's definitely in play. He's just got to fall close enough for to where we can get him. Brother Ken, I remember Mel Kuyper arrived in 1984. Coach Dan is just as accurate as Kuyper, if not more. Kuyper is a blowhard. He is, man. He's out there. I mean, he's out there to, to sell tickets and kiss babies. He's, he's basically a politician, you know, you could say. He's trying to make everybody happy, and he's trying to get everybody to tune on in. So go with that. Uh, or, Shell, what do you got? The, there's so many ways to go on this draft picks. That is the difficult to know where the smoke screens are. Yeah, we're going to get more and more of them over time, especially as we get closer to the draft. Every GM in the world is going to try to misdirect somebody into a different way other than maybe the Bears. Although, man, if the Bears don't take Caleb Williams, that will be the biggest misdirection maybe of all time at this point. All right, uh, Mozart, let's do a show comparing wide receiver and where they are predicted to go and then decide on the best value for the uh, pick slash spot. We could try to do that 100%. Uh, Brent J uh, Don uh, Jackson Powers Johnson would be a great pick also. I concur. The kid is a stud. All right, uh, yada, yada. What do you got? To, when are they going to extend St. Brown? I can't even lie. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I think it will happen this spring or summer. I wouldn't worry about it, man. I don't think there's any way they let him out of the place. All right, Haters House, wide receivers are easy to find the draft. We need uh, defensive end, cornerback, offensive line, then whatever else. I'll go with that. Uh, Dr. Troy, O-line, then O-line, then O-line. We should have picked up a, a left end already, but that's me. Unless we move up and get a good left end, then O-line after that. I think he, either you could be making a point we should address the offensive line, Dr. Detroit. All right, uh, Bro Spear, I get your point, Clint, but I mean Trump uh, Montgomery is getting any, isn't getting any faster or younger, but uh, Jameson hasn't proven to be reliable yet, and Amar Ra might not be around next season. Let's see what happens. Trump said every man's got to know his limitations. Agreed. Uh, Robert G, I'm surprised they're talking about the Lions at all. Exclamation points. They have been pretty quiet. I'll go with that. Uh, Josh Jackson, let Brad Cook always, always on that. Uh, Fred, this is the best draft I have yet to see for our Lions. This, uh, there is no need to draft a rookie and need them to start day one. I agree. They've set up this roster where they really don't need anything. It's just whatever comes their way. All right, guys, I had to get back to work and everything. Uh, wait, we got one more here. Uh, William Fox, great job, Coach, always keeping us updated out of your time. Hey, no worries, man. I enjoy it. Um, all right, like I said, I got to get ready to go show a house, so I just wanted to jump on the mic real quick, get this to you guys. Uh, also, in regards to the guard sign yesterday, the reports are it's a $6 million one-year deal, so great value there in my opinion. All right, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to Lions Talk Live, please consider doing so. Otherwise, uh, don't be afraid to hit that thumbs-up button, and I'll see you all in the next. Lions Talk Live. Take care, everybody.